Hello and welcome back to my channel, you all. If you are here, then you probably want to see how I got these boho box braids. And without any further ado, we can jump into it. But before I do, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit the bell notification next to it so that you are notified every time I post a video. So, jumping straight into it, the perks of this hair, I got, um, I used some leftover hair that I already had. Um, but I did go get a two, two additional packs of hair. I got the Easy Braid Professional made by Spectra, Spectra. I don't know if I'm saying that right. It's in 26 inches and I got it in the color number four. There are a few colored pieces. I had that braiding hair left over um, from some braids I did a long time ago, as well as the majority of the hair from here. So I bought these two packs and then I had a large pack that still had two pieces in it and I used that to achieve this look. For the boho extra part, I used the crochet hair. Uh, this is crochet hair that I had left over. So this one is like a deep twist and then this one is like a, a kinky bohemian curl or something like that. When I tried to do my passion twist, these this is the hair that I used. And since I had some left over, I just decided to add that in here as well. I used a crochet needle. Um, you can get this for a dollar. And I used jam to help slick my natural hair into the braid while I was braiding it. But before I put the jam on there, I did moisturize with a little bit of oil and with this um, lot of body curling style pudding. So that's what I did to pretty much achieve this look. I did pretty chunky sections. Um, I don't really like skinny braids. I like big hair. So sk skinny, small braids just don't really work out for my style. I'm pretty sure it would look really good if you did it smaller, but I chose to do them a little bit bigger. Also, I wanted to make note that you can add jewels and things. I decided not to add jewels this time. Uh, ooh. I oh, I curled the ends of some of the braids with this yellow pack of cold rods. I already had these in my stash as well. Use what you have. I'm telling you, I didn't spend but four dollars on this style because. I only bought two extra packs of hair. Everything else, the crochet needle, the jam, the braiding hair, crochet hair, everything I already had. So if you, you know, go through different styles and things like that, you can look through like your little hair drawer or your hair bag and see what you have to see what you can come up with. And that's exactly what I did. Y'all know I love my wigs. However, I just wanted a break from it for a little while. And I wanted to do a style that I know would give me the versatility of having hair, but also having my braids in a, or having my natural hair in a protective style too. There's something about braids that I don't necessarily like. I think it's the uniformity of the braids that I don't really care for. So adding the um, crochet hair to it gave it the extra flair that I needed for me to be able to wear it for a while. So you can pretty much create these braids however you want to. I have no idea who the originator of this look is, but all credit goes out to them. I'm not trying to, you know, steal or create anything, but if you stay tuned, then you will see how I chose to do it. So these are my box braids. Um, I use the rubber band method, 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 and my sections are probably not neat because I was sitting on my couch watching YouTube while I was doing this. I kind of just felt around to see where I wanted things to fall and land. If, if I'm correct, then everything has a window to fall in. So I kind of tried to fill the parts in brick layer it I think that's the method that it's called when you do like window spaces so if I have three here the next four that are above it 
aren't going to be directly placed on top of it. It's going to be like next to it so that they fall instead of jumbling up on top of each other. I don't know if that makes sense, but I hope it does. Uh, so yeah, so I put the curling cream and the jam on my hair to kind of stretch it out. And the jam makes it a little bit sticky so that when I'm braiding down, um, my natural hair tucks a little bit better because I did not straighten my hair before I decided to do this. Um, I've pretty much sectioned off uh, all of my hair as I was going and it worked pretty well for me uh, when I did it that way um, I start it is I don't have a clock with me and I can't see with it on my phone and my other phone is over there but I believe it's like 8 15 ish or something like that after I rinsed out the conditioner and my hair it was probably like five 15 5 o'clock 5 15 somewhere in there so okay we'll just say that this took me three hours max that's with me parting and braiding i did braid all the way down to the end i thought i was gonna tie the knots in them but i don't i don't know i don't like tying knots in the end of my braids and i haven't decided if i'm going to curl the ends or not but anyways you came here to see the braiding so I take my braiding hair and then this is in half so it's this thick if you can see this is how much hair I have I get it tight in my hands the left side um, some people have more grip with their left hand but I have more grip with my right so um, I split the right side into two pieces. I try to make the two pieces even, but sometimes it don't work out like that. And that's okay, you know, it's all of this is fixable, I promise. Um, so this is what you're probably gonna be holding it like. So you're gonna have your the majority on this side and then you split these two sides here. You can either, everybody grips different as well. You can either take your two sides and you put a finger through it and grab grab the braid or grab your hair and then i hope y'all can see this and then begin to literally braid you'll go around and then you'll go around and then crisscross into one another until you get down and then that's how some people do their braid. It gives you, sometimes when you do it this way, the grip is a little looser, which is okay. Like this one right here, that's the way that I did that one because it's on my edge and I don't want it to be tight. Like I need, I want it to look neat, but I don't want it to be tight. Cause again, I'm not trying to have no bumpies and I don't want my hair to fall out because I'm, I decided I wanted my braids to be super tight and super slick. Um. Oh, but the second way, the second way to do it is to put the hair behind you. Take the same two fingers that you just had. You're gonna take these, your index finger, your thumb and your uh, and your middle finger are the fingers you need. So these two fingers on top, thumb on bottom, you are going to uh, cross over and under, if that makes sense. Can you see this over and under? Here is your braid. And I purposely braided this one towards my face because I do whenever I do wear my styles up I want this one to fall in my face like this grab it so that it's touching this one in the middle so look this is one one skinny the other skinny in your hair and then the fat that you didn't touch if that makes sense I hope I'm not offending anybody with these words that I decided to use
they tight. I have, let me see, I'll count for you all. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three braids in total. I hope you could see that. And yeah, these are the braids. Thank you so much for watching. I do hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you and I will see you in my next one.